Hey Doom Babes and Doom Bros, today is a good day, we're testing the new weapon from Diving Water Deck. But as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the old one, which means we have to do some more. So we're not going to change the motor speed, which means that a simple ratio will give us our new speed. So the circumference of the new disc, or the circumference of the old disc times velocity of the old disc, we can fill, cancel out pi and fill this in, and we have 22 over 19, we can just cancel out, times 280 miles per hour. I know what a bunch of you are thinking, but we of course ran a limiter during BattleBots because we're not. Oh! Anyways, solving this equation, we ended up with a tip speed of 320 miles an hour. That is a lot of torque left on the table, and with a new weapon weight that's twice as high, we're going to need that torque, so we need to change the gearing on this. We can use the same equation here, multiply it by the diameter of the new pulley over the diameter of the old pulley, which is 3.5 inches. Set that equal to our target speed of 250. And now when we solve this, we get the new diameter of the pulley, which works out to be 4.5 inches. Luckily, we did all this math before and we have the pulley on hand. So let's install it in the pot and break some stuff. Next lesson, don't laser cut thick sprockets. One side will be great, but the cut will wander with depth. Instead, order a stack of thin sprockets for the same price. Third lesson, tolerancing. Do not assume a one inch shaft will fit in a one inch hole or you will spend an hour filing. Thankfully, these are aluminum. We turn the alignment pin on the lathe. Rub it home. And kick it. Finally, time to test. As you may have guessed, the back of our blade was dragging. Our wheels are not quite as big as they are in CAD, possibly because... Yeah. So we put fresh wheels on it, and it's not much better. So we put bigger wheels on it, which meant bigger wheel holes, which are jankier than Battle Royale. But it's not stupid if it works. Much like Battle Royale, it doesn't work. <laughs> the front drags now. We need to test though, so we threw it up on blocks. As you do in Baltimore. Testing complete, we resorted back to math for a proper alignment. So Katoa and our quarter inch blade spacer only gave us half a degree of play. So I designed a fancy half inch spacer during a work meeting with two degrees of play. We then machined it while experimenting with our new slow-mo camera. And finally, seven months after we filmed the intro to this video, it's time to test. <laughs> <laughs> 